Good evening, I'm Chris Justice. And I'm Sonia Gant. Despite heightened security at Charlotte Douglas Airport, a man gets onto the tarmac. It's a breach that has airport officials reviewing their methods. And tonight we learn of a similar incident weeks ago. Six News investigator John Romero is joining us live now at six. John? Well, in this age of terrorism fears, the Charlotte Douglas Airport is here. It's one of the most secure sites in the entire Charlotte area, which makes it that much more surprising that in the days after the terror level was raised to orange, an allegedly drunk passenger got off a plane and onto the secure part of the tarmac unattended. Now, security, aviation, and elected officials want to know how. Everything that can be done is done. Congressman Robin Hayes came to Charlotte's airport today ready to heap praise on the security. Security and other issues are something they do as a matter of course. Not ready to answer questions about how he was breached when an allegedly drunk passenger found his way onto the tarmac unattended. I'm not familiar with that specific incident. Was that here in Charlotte or somewhere else? Initially, the airport's director didn't know how long 42-year-old Christopher Bayerbach wandered around. Was it minutes? Was it hours? I don't know that exactly. Today, a tarmac worker says Bayerbach was unattended for at least two hours, slipping free late Monday night, arrested 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. Every facility uh, has the potential to be breached. Uh, in this occasion, when it was breached, we did locate the individual and he was placed under arrest without any incident. It actually took two rounds of pepper spray for police to subdue Bayerbach, Charlotte's federal security director, promising an investigation. We don't know exactly how he got out there, whether he went through an alarm door, whether he came through a jetway. On July 15th, police had to arrest another allegedly drunk passenger for trespassing after he refused to leave the concourse, explaining and investigating the latest breach, not the kind of thing you want to do in front of your congressman. We are reviewing the entire incident. Anything that can be corrected because that incident will be. Now, we do know that Christopher Bayerback, who you just saw there, is actually a licensed FAA pilot, licensed to fly small planes. We talked to the FAA today. They said they will look into this incident to see whether Bayerback should be able to keep his pilot's license. Live now at the airport, I'm John Romero for 6 News. An airplane heading for